different message. The stars were out tonight here in Springfield as the 2012 class entered the Hall of Fame, and what a night it was for Don Nelson. Yeah, it was a lot of pressure to be up there and be on national television and everything else. So uh, big relief, and uh, just a it's such been, just been such a great weekend. I mean, the entire thing, and we got one more day to go. So I've had so much fun. Uh, I just can't imagine a better time. He's an innovator. He's, he had he had courage. He had he didn't care what other people uh, thought. He was willing to try anything. He had an open mind. And I always felt like. Don Nelson on the sideline was like having another star player. He was a difference maker. There's not many coaches that you feel very confident that they're going to make a difference in the game, and Nelly was one of them. John Nelson, Coach Nelson drove me crazy. You know, every time we tried to match up against his teams, he would come with something new, some new wrinkle. He invented small ball when nobody else would do it. You had a huge night in the playoffs against the Don Nelson-led Warriors back in the 90s, and I'm thinking if he just double-teamed you, maybe it wouldn't have taken so long for him to get to the hall. <laughs> no, the, Nelly wasn't going to double-team anybody. I was just telling these guys over here, one thing about his team, you couldn't stop them on the other end, and you, they couldn't stop you on the other thing. That's, that's the pros and cons of small ball. You get what you want, but they get what they want. He went against the grain. That's what made him great was that he didn't care what anybody else was going to say or do. He knew and believed in his strategy, and he always won. That's what made him great. Don Nelson, fantastic mind, spirit, soul, self, persona. He had everything. He was a great player on fantastic teams. He made teams better. He made people better. Don Nelson, in the Hall of Fame, what could be better? So well-deserved, tragically long overdue. I'm the luckiest guy in the world. I know Don Nelson. The only thing that could be better in my life is that if I had got to play for Don Nelson. Nelly, one of the headliners of a class, including a true class act, Reggie Miller, who joins his sister Cheryl in the hall while giving credit to his friend and former teammate, Warriors head coach Mark Jackson. First and foremost, the reason why, and a majority and the big reason why I'm here is because of Mark. He got me the basketball in all the right spots. He's been a lifelong friend going back to high school. You know, there's so many people that I'm going to be on the shoulders of, and he's probably at the top of that list. I have to tell the truth. If it wasn't for Mark Jackson, Reggie would not be in the Hall of Fame. I did all I could as his big sister, but it was Mark Jackson that took him to the next level. But I am so excited for Reggie. It's quite an honor and quite an event, as you can see. So it's been great. So Mark Jackson, Coach Jackson, thank you so much for taking Reggie Miller to the upper room and the next level. Cheryl Miller gave you a ton of credit here for uh, your role in helping Reggie make this haul, but, but in all due candor, tell me how gratifying is it for you to see a close friend and teammate make it here to Springfield? Well, you know, Cheryl and Reggie, they're brother and sister to me. Uh, it's an incredible night, uh, well-deserved. Uh, you're talking about basketball royalty as his family's concerned, but not just a Hall of Fame basketball player, but more importantly, a Hall of Fame person. Uh, he carried us and, and, and brought us up to levels that we would never have reached. Um, it's, it's a great night and an honor to be here. Two other Warriors were enshrined as part of the class of 2012, Ralph Sampson and Jamal Wilkes, legends of the game standing with Sampson and speaking effusively about Wilkes. If it hadn't been for Jamal and also the, the late great person Phil Smith, there's no way in the world that we win the championship. Jamal was an integral part of us being able to be the success that we were. So I'm just happy that his picture is now hanging up on the rafters of this incredible building over here where it should have been years ago. So congratulations to Jamal. Well, you know, I, I think Jamal was a, a, a consummate player. He played both ends of the court. Uh, he was unselfish and uh, really a team player. It, it took too long for him to get to the Hall of Fame. I'm glad to see that he got in. Uh, he certainly deserves the honor. Also enshrined, East Bay native and former Warrior scout Don Barksdale, one of the central figures in the racial integration of the league who passed away in 1993. His son Derek and former Boston teammate Bob Cousy accepted the honor for the Barksdale family. It was a truly magic night in Springfield. Coach Don Nelson, congratulations, man. You did it. And you know what? You're so cool because you don't even live here. You live in Hawaii. That's what makes you really cool. I love that. <laughs>
And it was truly an honor to bring you these Hall of Fame stories from Springfield. Thank you again for checking out Warriors TV and Warriors.com.